Hey guys, so today we're taking care of some quail chores that we've put off for uh, a couple weeks now. Uh, my bird stopped laying about a month ago. Uh, shorter days, uh, bad weather, etc. So today we're going to be making a solar light system. Um, I'm not going to film every step of this. I already have a video on my channel on how to set it up and what pieces I use. And it's exactly the same, except I'm going to use a, a ribbon light. LEDs instead of one of the little bar lights. So I need to move around a few of my birds, um, empty out the coop that we're going to be putting this light on, and then we'll put the light on and then we'll put them all back. I'm looking for around 20 birds in this coop. It's a 2 by 8 so about 16 square feet. Um, and 20 birds in 16 square feet is not too bad, I don't think. Alright, so you can see I brought out my tools. I'm just going to make all this outside. I don't know how long I need my uh, wires yet. So if you ever build a door, make sure that you put it so it drops down and you actually have to pick it up to open it just so you don't ever forget how to do it. This cage is slanted so hopefully when they start laying eggs they'll roll to the front and I won't have to reach in the back. So we'll be putting the string light up top here. We need to move these birds. So I think there's five hens in there and we'll be putting them in this coop for now. Um, I think there's seven or so birds here, two males and hopefully about five females. I need to figure out exactly what I have. And then this is where I've kept the overflow males from the birds I hatched out about a month ago. Um, these are all ready to go. I'll be replacing all my males with some of these and maybe a few of the other ones. And this is the main coop. And these birds are a little old. So that's why I had hatched out some new ones. Alright, we got the string light all zip tied up to the top. Now if you're going to do this and you're building your quail coop for the first time, I would suggest put this on at the beginning. Um, it's a little difficult to reach inside and get the zip ties around the uh, wire while it's already built and everything's on. So if, you got, if you're doing this for the first time, make sure to get that light in there as soon as possible. If you can't, just lay something over the top between the roof. On mine, I don't really have any space between the roof and the uh, hardware cloth, so I had to put it on the inside. But ideally, you'd put it on the top of the uh, coop between the roof and your hardware cloth on the top. So I'll show you guys what I did. All right, so this is the end. I just cut off at the little connectors how much I needed. And you can see that it runs the entire length and my wires are on that end. I'm gonna take those wires, pull them around and then uh, start wiring everything together. Like I said, I already have a video on that so I won't show you guys what I'm doing there. I may put a few more zip ties uh, just to hold the slack, but overall I think it looks pretty good. All right, so we got the solar light all connected. Um, the only bad thing about the cheap uh, timers is that if you're in the middle of the on cycle and you set it to auto, I don't think they come on. I think it has to actually hit the time to come on and then it'll switch on and then when it hits the time to go off, it'll actually go off. So I can't test it that the timer's actually working. So I think tomorrow afternoon, once it hits around 4.30 when it's supposed to come on, uh, I'll come out here and make sure it's actually working. You can do a manual override to turn it on to make sure your wiring's good, which I did do and it is working. So I think I did everything correct, but I can't actually test the timer until it cycles through that on uh, time. So I'll show you what I have and then we'll wrap this up. All right, so I have my bucket with all my wires in it and my solar panel facing to the south. This is my bucket. It's a big mess, but everything's wired up. We'll put the lid on it, and that'll be it. And you can see my lights are in there. They do come on, and I just need to switch around my quail and get about 16 to 20 in there. All right, we got the quail moved over. In total, I had nine females and three males from the ones I just hatched. 
about, I don't know, two months ago or so. Um, it's pretty good to start. I may hatch a few more if they start laying. Um, we're getting into winter here pretty soon, and it's, it's real a real pain to hatch them in the winter just because they can't go outside so early. Normally you have to wait two weeks to get them fully feathered out go outside. Um, in the winter, man, it's three, four weeks at least, so we'll see. I'll decide what I do, what I'll do once they start laying. But nine females, three males, perfect ratio to start with, and we'll see where to go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.